darkness you shine Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you None like you Our God is greater Our God is strong Pastor Lauren Weitz. Hi, good evening. A very warm welcome. Thanks for being with us this evening. The ninth Gospel Spell. How awesome is that? So we just want to say a very big thank you to Miranda and the Spell team. I think we should give them an applause before they even start. How is that opening song? They have really been so dedicated and all the hard work and the effort that they've put in tonight is just absolutely fantastic. And we wanna say thank you to all of you for coming along and supporting such a worthy cause. We have put together a little clip that we'll show you a little bit later on in the evening where all the proceeds are going. And that's to an MPO called Children in Distress. 
So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the evening together. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome the one and only, your host for the evening, the amazing Andre. gentlemen to the most spectacular awesome event of 2020 the annual gospel Scospel number nine Woo! we are in tonight for a lot of surprises it's going to be a lot of fun and oh by the way good evening ladies and gentlemen Good evening, boys and girls. Um, yes, good evening. Thank you for that, wherever you are. All righty then. Tani uh, Ansi van Pofader, she found, she says she can't make it tonight. Uh, she's got some cook sisters in the oven. So she just said she's not going to make it. Wow, here we are again, nine years in a row. Wow, this is incredible. So um, we just want to say thank you for coming. For those of you who've been coming every year, how many of you have been here like since for eight years now in a row or nine years? Put up your hand so we can see. I'm going to put my hand in the front. Nine years, seven years. Uh, so we've got some veterans in the house here. Six years, five, four, three. Okay. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you for coming out again, supporting this amazing, amazing uh, project for children in distress. Now, there are a lot of new people here tonight who are here for the very first time. And can we have some hands? Look around the audience, wherever they are. Can you put up your hands? All the people here for the very first time who's been invited by friends and family, those who forced you to be here. Okay, welcome. And we hope that tonight you'll also enjoy the show with us. We've got a lot of things for you guys. A lot of new items, a lot of new artists, a lot of new talent, and a couple of the oldies as well that you are used to. And, um, but with new acts, new songs, it's going to be absolutely fabulous. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so um, we have, we're going to kick off tonight with a brand new artist. His name is Peter Brill. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to announce the artist. Behind me, you'll see on the screens some beautiful pictures of these beautiful people and what they do for a living. And uh, Peter is all the way from Rustenburg. He flew in from Rustenburg. His eyes are, your arms are a little bit tired, so I hope you can hit that guitar, but that's going to be fine. And uh, Peter, it, who's um, uh, uh, fans of Brian Adams? You know, the Brian Adams, the musician. Okay, those are for people who kind of, th th those who don't know who he is, you haven't been born yet. Okay, that, that was long ago. Your moms and dads and, okay. Well, Peter has got a voice like Brian Adams. It's raspy, it's amazing. You're gonna love him. And he's gonna sing, he's gonna start the show for us with Glorious Day. He's followed by Magda Mare. For those who were here the last year, Magda Mare came out for the first time. She is also the shortest person on our crew but she's got an unforgettable, beautiful voice. And um, uh, last year she hit behind the mic stand. So don't worry, this year we've moved the mic stand out of the way so you can see her. And the song she's gonna sing is A Ride. Go figure. Okay, there you go. And then, oops, sorry. Following Magda, we have a brother and sister duo from Nelspreet Wurstgrohl. That's right. Yeah, woo! Nelis, Nelis, okay, fantastic. Carmen and Berno Fenter, and they're awesome, they're new, they're young talent, and there's a breath of fresh air, and they will be singing for us, Just Be Helped. I was buried beneath my shame. Who could carry that kind of weight? It was my tomb 
Till I met you I was breathing But not Alive All my failures I tried To hide It was my two yeah. Till I met you
called to open blind eyes, to set the captive free, to lift high the name of Jesus and overcome the enemy, to let love overwhelm the fear and heal the broken heart, to restore that has been stolen and proclaim the rule of God. It's time to Everybody needs you strong But life hits you out of nowhere And barely leaves you holding on And when you're tired of fighting Chained by your control There's freedom and surrender Lay it down and let it go So when you're on your knees An answer seems so far away You're not alone If your eyes are on the cross, you know I always have and I always will. And not a tear is wasted, in time you'll understand. I'm painting beauty with the ashes, your life is in my hands. So when you're on your knees, an answer seems so far away. You're not Arms of 
far away You're not alone, stop holding on and just be held Your world's not falling apart, it's falling into place I'm on the throne, stop holding on and just be That's how we start a show. It's like high school musical with a gospel flavor. That's really cool. Wow. Now, what are we here tonight? I know we've come to be entertained. We've also come to enjoy a gospel musical show, which is true. But the real reason why we are here year after year and why you keep coming back is because of the Children in Distress Project. And your contribution helps us to help these vulnerable children who are under stress, to help to feed them and to educate them, to give them a hope and a future. We have a video clip that we are going to show you in a moment, and you can enjoy that, and this is what it's all about. Thank you. And we're standing in a little village called Jerusalem and it's on the outskirts of Mpumalanga near the Kruger National Park and this is one of the centers where we run our NPO called Children in Distress. We've been going since 1989. We're a community-based NPO with 18A status. We're looking after just over 3,000 orphaned and vulnerable children from eight different centers within the greater White River area. We believe that every life matters, and especially these young lives. They're the hope and the future of South Africa. Our centers are run by trained staff and volunteers, and they assist with the different programs that we run at each of our centers. These programs are open to the community, and they are free of charge. We do daily feeding Monday to Friday with a hot, nutritious meal. do math classes, computer classes where they learn to read and write English. We have libraries at three of our different centres where students can come and gain more information, can study for tests, can get help that is needed. We have sports and music events that take place. We have our Lego programme where they can use their imagination. We have early childhood development where the little ones can come to and then the vital things that are needed at different stages of their lives. We have our EPUB project, which is run through our mobile clinic. We also have organic gardens where the community can come and volunteer, and we grow vegetables to add to the pot for the daily feeding. So on behalf of Children in Distress and our team, we'd like to thank all of our donors and sponsors for joining hands with us and enriching the lives of orphaned and vulnerable children. Together we are bringing hope and making a difference. The Gospel Skospel has been the dream and the vision of Marinda Turin. She's unfortunately not here tonight with us. Uh, her husband, Dr. Hendrik Turin, has had an emergency back operation, so she is with him. Our prayers and thoughts are with her. And Leon, who used to be the, the MC uh, every year so far, he's on holiday. So they said, I gotta do it. Come on, Leon. Really? Okay, well, we wanted to, now let's get on with the show. And I think we should give your, you guys a, a round of applause because your contribution is funding these feeding, this feeding scheme with these children and helping them out. So thank you for coming and thank you for contributing and giving from your pocket and your heart as well. Thank you so much. Now on with the show. I hope you're ready, here we go. <laughs> we wanted to do something a little bit different, so we thought we're gonna have a bit of a South African flavor. Yep. And so we have Hanali Janssen, who will be singing for us in Afrikaans. I know, 
It's true. Okay? And uh, the song is called Die Koning is Hier. Then we have another newcomer to the stage, a young lady called Jean-Marie Kutzer, and she will be singing a very well-known gospel song called Oceans, followed by Anton von Seil and the full cast with a worship song called Oh, Praise Him. Please feel free to join him if you know the words. And then to end the part of this section of songs, we have a very big surprise for you. I hope you're ready. You're not going to believe it. Your very own super cool, super funky girl band. Oh, yeah, we got a girl band tonight. Woo! In the house. And they will be singing shackles. So feel free to jump up and jive, dance, and go crazy. Over to you guys.
turn your ear to heaven and hear the noise inside the sound of angels oh the sound of angels songs and all this for a king angels join to sing How divine this song of ours will rise. Oh, how constant, how divine this love of ours will rise. Will rise. Oh, praise Him. Oh, praise Him. He's here today. It's really for us, it's a spectac the spectacular evening. We have been, believe it or not, rehearsing since the 15th of January. And um, it's always like an anti-climax, you know, we do the show and it's so nice and the adrenaline's going and everything. And then afterwards, then we go home. So, 
Um, I, I would love to sing this specific song and it's called Shackles from Mary Mary. I've got girls here with me, like Andre said. And um, in this regard, I just want to say, almost two years ago, I have been in a very terrible car accident and had very severe injuries. To such a meant that um, I was in a wheelchair for a few months. So today, I really honestly, with all my heart, want to praise God that I can stand here today and actually do some dancing moves. <laughs> so I'm really very, very blessed. Enjoy the song. Thank you. say it backwards. Wow! <laughs> okay, that was awesome, guys. That was really great. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to come up here, and we're going to have a little bit of fun. I hope you... Are you enjoying the show so far? It's really cool. It's fun. Hey, it's funky. And feel free to jump up and jive. Nobody will think you're weird, except tomorrow it will be on Facebook, and everybody will know about you. Okay. 
I'm going to ask somebody from the audience, and I'm going to get somebody to help me to do this little trick. Um, let's see. I need to. Oh, here's the passageway. I can't see. Uh -huh. Hello, Uncle. How are you? Nice to see you again. All right. So I'm looking for a volunteer victim. I mean, volunteer. You, sir, you look like the guy. Yeah, he looks like the guy. Let's give him a big round of applause. I think you must give your wife your cell phone because I might just take it without you knowing. Okay. Where's your wallet? This side. Okay, cool. Now I know where to get. Go. Oh, okay, I'm just kidding. Follow me to the stage over here. Let's give him a big round of applause. All right. Just on the table for us. Here you go. All right. Let's find out what is your name. His name is Werner. I'm nervous. You don't have to be ver nervous, Werner. Everything is going to be fine. <laughs> no, don't worry. <laughs> okay, Werner. Everything is going to be good. <laughs> I'm just joking. I can bake cookies. No, I, thanks. You don't have to bake cookies, Werner. That's all right. We're just going to have some fun tonight. Okay. So, um, I don't know if you guys remember, back in the day, in the about early 90s, there was this guy on the television. He had a black outfit on. You know who I'm talking about now, hey? Some magician dude. And he wore this black mask. And he was looking at you. And then he did his tricks. You guys, can you remember his name? Anybody out in the audience just shout his name? Zorro, no, it wasn't Zorro. Zorro's got a sword. That guy wishes he was Zorro as well. I was like, yeah, man. Okay. Anybody else who knows what his name was? Batman. <laughs> oh, you famous lady. I like you already. Okay. Anybody else? Mask? The masked magician. Give her a clap. Well done. Well done. Okay. I can do 15 push-ups. No, no, don't, you don't have to worry. You don't have to do push-ups either. It's okay. It's cool. Just, we're going to do the trick together. All right. Well, the masked magician, he would do a trick. He'd show you this amazing trick. We all would sit there and go, wow, that was so awesome. And then they would break, and then he would come back, and then they would show you how the trick was done. Yes, I know. I learned a lot of tricks from that guy. <laughs> but the rest of the magicians had him shot, unfortunately. That's why he's no longer on TV. I'm really feeling sorry now about that. So I decided, because you're such a wonderful audience, I will teach you guys a trick. And in fact, I'm going to teach Willem. Vil Willem. Willem. Werner, good memory, Werner. I was just pulling his leg. Okay. So Werner is going to help us. I'm going to teach Werner and all of you how this trick went. But first, I'm going to do what the masked magician does, and I'm actually going to do the trick. And then we'll teach the trick. Are you cool with that? Yeah, now you can go show your family and friends how to do this. Werner, all right. So first of all, to do this trick, this trick is called the vanishing handkerchief. Can you all see the little red handkerchief? Werner? Pay attention because you're going to be doing this for the whole audience in a moment. Don't worry, I'll coach you. You take a little handkerchief out. You come out and say, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to take this little handkerchief. I'm going to put it into my hand like this. I'm making him a little fist like this. I'm going to put it into my hand. Can everybody see what I'm doing? And then you stick it in like that, a little bit tight and stuff like that and everything. Squeeze it in tight. Make sure it's there and everything. And then you're going to... <laughs> you thought I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's the tricky part. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do that. But in magic, we call that misdirection. We do those kind of things that you look over there. Oh, we got him, we got him. Meantime, nothing happened. <laughs> okay, don't worry about that. Okay, now for the real trick. So here we go. You take the little handkerchief, you wave it up and down, and you say, now, ladies and gentlemen, watch out for the most amazing thing before your very own eyes. I'm going to make this hanky disappear. And then you put it into your hand, and you squeeze it in, and in, and in, and in it goes. And then you say the magic, magic words. you know any magic words, Werner? Please and thank you. Thank you very much. There you go. All right. You wiggle your fingers. You say the magic words, abracadabra. Or I have a grandma, don't say that. I have a banana, don't do that. Simsalabam, no, simsalabam. Okay, we got that now. Okay, call you here, call your daughter. That was Martino's favorite words. The closer you look, the quicker I crook. And then just like that, you wave and you go, boom, and you make it disappear and do and change it into an egg. Wow! This is where you take your applause. That's amazing. 
Now you're probably wondering, where is that little red hanky? Wow, did you guys see my hand go there? Exactly, it's at that moment that I placed it into this pocket. Did you see that, Werner? Uh -huh. Did you guys see that? Wow, that was really cool. Now, Werner, would you like to learn this trick? Would you guys like to learn how this trick is done? All right, so for this trick, what you need is a little red handkerchief and a magician's egg. No, no, we don't lay eggs. We just have fake eggs. It's got a little hole in it. <laughs> and inside we've got a second handkerchief. Isn't that cool? That's how we cheat. Don't tell them, eh? If they, nobody put this on Facebook, I'm going to be dead tomorrow if they find out. Okay. Right, though. So, Werner, are you guys ready? Let's teach you and Werner how to do the trick. I have brought props just for you, too. So, you've got a green handkerchief. Put that one into your left pocket like that. All right. Afterwards, I want it back, eh? Okay, cool. Then you take your fake egg. Battery's not included and you put it into your right-hand pocket right there. Fantastic. So far, so good. Then you take your other handkerchief. You've got the green one, and you take the other one, and you put it also into your right-hand pocket with the eggers. Fantastic. Are you ready, Werner? Step up. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Werner the Magician, his first time appearance. Do that again for us, Werner. No, man. No, not, not that part. Okay. Woo. Okay, sorry. That was me. Okay. So reach into your pocket. Now grab the handkerchief and come out and wave it up in the air like this. Go, Werner, go. Go, Werner, go. Go, Werner, go. Woo-hoo! Wow. Then say, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you an amazing trick. Okay. Watch closely. Put your hands like that. Put the hanky in. Squeeze tight, squeeze tight, squeeze tight. Okay, now you do the fake move. And then you just, you know, browse around. Reach into your pocket. Grab the egg. Got it. Nobody knows you're grabbing the egg. It's called palming. <laughs> then you quickly go, hey! Hey! You stand like that too. You gotta make it dramatic. Oh! Then you open your hand and don't drop the, and just go, ha, 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 gotcha. <laughs> it's called palming. I do that often in checkers and pick and pay and spa. We have a lot of eggs at home. Okay, cool. All right. So now, now they don't know, then you immediately dip and take it over with the other hand. Because people won't suspect that there's anything in your hand when you hold a hanky like this and you show your other hand empty. Wow, how cool is that? Okay, now you go, don't worry, I'm going to show you again. Okay, close your fist. Now, as you put in the hanky, put the egg into your hand, but make sure the hole is facing upwards. <laughs> it, it does help, you know, where the egg's little hole is. Okay, then squeeze it in, squeeze it in, squeeze it in. There we go, squeeze it in. Awesome, awesome. Oh. <laughs> Very good. Now, no one knows anything. They don't know that you've got a little egg in your, in your hand. So you squeeze everything tight in there. Very good. All right. Wiggle your fingers, Werner. And say the magic words. I wear underwear. No, no, no. Don't tell that to everybody. Okay. All right. And say, abracadabra. Blow on it. <sighs> okay. And now, take your thumb, put it over the little hole, and come out with the egg and go, ta-da! Give him a round of applause. He has just made the hanky disappear. Now, Werner, so, oh, wait a minute. And then reach into your pocket and pull out the red handkerchief. Oh, I know where it is. Fantastic. Let's give Werner a big round of applause. Just can you put it, uh, not inside, just over there. Now, sometimes what happens, sometimes the tricks do go wrong. Because I know you know, don't go away, Werner. Um, sometimes the trick do go wrong because you come out, you're so excited to show your friends and family how the trick works. And instead of covering the hole with your thumb, you come out and flash the hole. Ah! Don't do that. Everybody's going to know there's a trick to this, okay? So don't flash the hole. If it does happen, 
Batman, if there's a hole in the egg, don't panic. All you have to do, then you've got to do the real thing. Then you're going to blow, simsalabim, wiggle your fingers, do all that funny stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then you reach in and you peel off the hole because you don't want a hole in your egg. You see, you vanish the handkerchief permanently, forever. And then you must make sure that they know that it's not inside and it's real. And that's how we do the real thing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Werner. Thank you, Werner. You can go join the audience here as he takes his seat. Thank you, man. Wow, did you enjoy that? There you go. They're fantastic. Well, okay. Next up, she's no stranger to our stage here. A woman that has surprised us year after year with her incredible vocal range. Evelyn Maslalela, and you'll notice that she doesn't walk on stage. She glides. And she will be singing for us, Jesus paid it all. And of course, we had a girl band. We've got to have an all boys band. Why not? Yeah, boys band. Woo! Okay, so we had, you know, remember in sync back in the day? They weren't in sync, but it's okay. Then we had boys to men. Now they men and two old women, okay? And then we have Il Devo, they're really great. But we have our own powerhouse of men, our boy band, and they're gonna be singing Chain Breaker, which is a really cool song. And then we're gonna go south, really deep, deep, deep south. We're gonna bring you two golden oldies from the Gaither Southern Gospel genre, just because we can, and we wanna spoil you. Two songs, one is called God on the Mountain, and the other one is called Greatly Blessed. And to round off this last, this section, not the last section, almost there, the round, this section, we're going to sing a song that's going to be sung by Anton von Sale, and the whole cast is going to come out this time to sing a worship medley with us, and you can join in with that as well. So let's take it away. I hear the Savior say, Thy strength indeed is small. Child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me thine all in all. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Send the crimson saying he washed it white as snow. Sin had left 
to crimson stain He washed it white as snow He washed it white as snow There's a better life and There's a better life If you got pain He's a pain taker If you feel lost He's a way maker If you need freedom A safe He's a prison shaking savior If you got chains Oh, he's a chain breaker We've all searched for the light of day in the dead of night And we've all found ourselves worn out from the same old fight And we've all run to things we know it just ain't right When there's a better life When there's a better life If you got pain He's a pain taker If you got changed 
is crazy when you're up on the mountain you've got peace of mind like you've never known but things change when you're down in the valley
You guys are doing such a great job. <laughs> this evening is going very fast tonight. I don't know about you. Are you feeling like it's getting? No. Oh, we got some more stuff for you. <laughs> Let me find my way down here. All right. So, you know, in magic, uh, and it's not the bad stuff, it's kulkens, you know, overblunderij. It's not the real power nonsense, okay? So it's tricks. Uh, I'm going to show you something. You probably have seen it before. And... Um, it's a piece of rope. Oh, yeah. Can you all see that? That's right. Now, you've seen those magicians and those kulkenstenar okies. They take the rope, they fold it in half, and then they take a pair of scissors, and then they cut it in half, and then they go, kul jou hier, kul jou daar, poof! The whole rope is back together again. Have you seen that before? Yeah. Would you like to see that? Yeah. All right. So, a normal magician, this is standard practice. We take a rope, we take a pair of scissors, oh, scissors, and we cut it into two, genuinely cut into two. And then they put it together again, with, and then it's done. But if you're a good magician, you can take the rope, fold it in half again, and then take a scissors, and cut it again. And you have four pieces. Wow, that's pretty cool. If you're a great magician, oh yes, you can take the four pieces, fold it in half, and then cut it in half again, which gives you eight pieces. Sixteen, wait for the sixteen lady. Yeah, okay. Math. 
<laughs> All right, so we've got eight pieces cut in half. Now, that's quite a lot. This is going to be a miracle if I can put it all together again. That's what great magicians can do. But if you are one of the best magicians in the world, from Nelspreit, <laughs> you can fold it again. And now you cut it into how many pieces? 16. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 16 pieces. And here is where the magic happens. Watch closely. You're not going to believe your eyes. <sighs> Nothing up the sleeves. Nothing up here. But here we go. <laughs> all righty then. So I close my fist and I start putting all the pieces into, hey, there's nothing on my thumbs either. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. You stick it into there. <laughs> we got to get that little piece. All right. And we'll put it inside here as well. You leave one at the top, like that, and then you got to... <coughs> there we go. Can you all see that? That. Okay. So now it's just concentration, a lot of hope and prayer and all kinds of stuff, and I hope everything paid off. A thousand rand to get this trick done. Okay. You concentrate, and then you put it all together like this. Abra... Kadabra. Poof! Okay. Well, unfortunately, I'm not that magician. If you want that guy, he's lots and lots of money. You're going to pay to get him here all the way into the White River. And that's my take on that one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, I'm not that good. <laughs> wow. Well, are you still having fun? I'm sorry. Okay. Are you still having fun? Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to believe it, but we are actually ending towards the end of the show. Can you believe how fast this has already gone? I can't believe it. But don't worry, we've got four items left for you guys. So we're going to kick off with Ilse Marie, who with her, her husband, Vainant, there's Ilse. And her husband, Vainant, that's the guy behind the drums who's been like, plug me in, plug me in. Okay, that's him. Together with them, they are a duo. I don't know if you know about them. They've got a band called Havana. Anybody heard of Havana before? Have you ever seen them around before? Fantastic. Well, they tour all over the country. They're everywhere. And if you've never heard them sing, you've got you to gotta go and listen to them. It's a real treat. And tonight, they're with us. But tonight, Ilza, she's got such an incredible vocal range. This lady can sing almost anything. And she's going to um, sing for us a beautiful song, and it's called... You say, all right, but before we, can, we start there, uh, then we have a new surprise for you. This guy, when I met him the first time, I just saw, I don't know how to explain it, but he's got such a gentleness and such a gentle nature and spirit, such a beautiful person, such a beautiful believer. I tell you, Jesus shines through him, and his name is Travis Mtlangu, uh, Mtlanga, sorry, and he's going to sing it. Do it again until you do it right. No, I'm just kidding. Just do it again. And we can't let you down. Leave tonight and let you down until you've heard the amazing Debbie. You've been here last year. You would have known who I'm talking about. Her voice speaks for itself. And she's singing in Afrikaans again for us. A beautiful song called Odi Yimmel Whoop. And we're almost done. But wait, there's more. You know those TV ads? Okay. Get your dancing shoes ready, boys and girls, ladies and gents. Get ready to jump and jive. We have Marley Pretorius, and she's going to rock this place tonight. You can jam with the lamb, okay? And she's going to sing Overcomer. So jump up, go crazy. No one is going to worry about it. And then last but not least, to end the evening's entertainment and the gospel spell, a man who brought the house down last year. For the first time we met him. Young dude, okay. He's a humble, down-to-earth guy. He's like <laughs> very shy. The first time I met him, he was like, <laughs> and, and I thought, well, gonna visit you. you know, what's gonna happen? Yeah. <laughs> Until he opened his mouth. Mama mia, Eugene Jacobs. And he is gonna sing, and then the cast is gonna join him, and then you can join us as well, and he's gonna sing Jerusalem. What a voice. And we end off with that, but don't run away. So take it away, guys. I 
keep fighting voices in my mind that say I'm not enough. Every single lie that tells me I'll never measure up. Am I more than just a sum of every high and every low? Remind me once again just who I am. Walking around these walls I thought by now they'd fall But you have never failed me yet I 
Waiting for a change to come Knowing the battles won But you have never failed me yet still stands great is your faithfulness your faithfulness I'm still in your hands this is my confidence you never fail me your promise still stands great is your faithfulness your faithfulness Still in your hands This is my confidence You never fail me yet You never fail me yet You never fail me You never fail me Let's give God the glory, cause he's never failed me, and he'll never fail you. It was over, you, 
And it looked as if it was over You, you made a way Now we're standing here Only because you made a way
so fair. I stood in old Jerusalem beside the temple there. I heard the children singing, and ever as they sang, methought the voice of angels from heaven in answer rang. Methought the voice of angels from heaven in answer rang.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.